with Coach Bork after it went at Maine. Coach, we start just a comment on the game tonight. Uh, it was, you know, we're really uh, proud of our team. Last night was kind of a debilitating loss, and um, it could have gone the wrong way today. But I thought our leadership really, um, really brought our team ready to play. Loved our effort in the first period. Um, the only time we got on our heels at all was at the end of the game, and I thought that was. You know, a team that's trying to learn how to win, you know. Um, but it was a big win for us, a big comeback win, and you know, I was really proud of our guys, especially our leadership, because I thought they got our guys ready to be here. Uh, 11 blocked shots. You blocked 11 shots. And that's not very thorough. You didn't give them any, you didn't give them much end zone time at all. Well, we blocked two last night, and that was certainly a focus of breakfast this morning, because we usually do block a lot of shots. Um, and you know, I think we played uh, UMass and BC and BU, and they moved the line very, very well. Mason had a couple of guys like that as well, but um, you know, we should have been better with that last night. We weren't. It cost us a couple of goals, and so I thought tonight the guys took pride in that. I feel like you guys clamped down in the second. I mean, there wasn't a lot of scoring chances on either side of the second, but I can't think of many times other than maybe when they were in a power play where you guys didn't have the clock on one of your sticks. No, I, I, exactly, and I thought. Uh, I was really happy. Like Maddie Capone went in there and played really well. A freshman, young freshman comes in and does that. Uh, Mac Welser. You know, those two lines were really good for us. We expect nine uh, Liam Walsh and, and uh, Max Newton's line to do that. But for um, Maddie's line and, Lee, and uh, Max's line to do that just gave us great depth. So we rolled four lines the entire game, which kept us fresh as well. And then Zelton got his first career goal, and it was a nice setup by Walsh. Again, you created a lot of chances on the four check. Yeah, and you know, uh, I was really happy for Christian. I mean, obviously you know the story. Uh, Timmy Whitehead's uh, nephew, and you know, he uh, talked about this year, uh, with, about what happened to Frozen Four with his grandmother. Um, and it just, I think this was, he never said anything, uh, but I think this was a pretty special weekend for him. And as he was school, he was really, I was really happy for him. What happened? Grandmother? Timmy's um, mother-in-law passed away on the way to the Frozen Four. Way back when, you guys didn't yeah. know that story. No. no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, they, she didn't arrive, and she uh, was in an accident. Was she, I think it was on the way home. Like 2004, 2003. Yeah. yeah. And so we had a day that we talked about some of our worst days in our lives, and he brought up that day. And uh, I knew coming here, and I never said anything to him, but I thought it was special for him, and for him to school tonight was really awesome. What, what have you seen from his game too? Just kind of. I mean, early in the year he was kind of in and out, but lately I mean, he's kind of been a mainstay for you. You know, he uh, he wins all his one-on-one -on -one fights, and uh, when you do that, you can play. You know, and so he skates well. Um, and I think he was you know cautious at the beginning of the year, not as aggressive. But what really uh, he and Denison have done a nice job together. They move pucks out of his own well, and you know, and, and Danny's obviously a little bit undersized. You know, he doesn't play that way, but he is. So having a battle like Christian on his, you know, on his shoulder is helpful. And I thought he played. Um, you know, it's really, I think they're a really good pair. But it really thought Christian was good today, and, and as was Liam. Uh, what about Zach? Too obviously first career shutout. Yeah. Can't, can't get. Can't get much better than that, right? No, and I, I, I'm curious what his mindset is right now with Coach Bork. I'm uh, not playing him last night, uh, but I'm really pleased. You know, he played really well. And I think that was a big difference. I think last night they got some offensive confidence. Uh, you know, Hugo had a tougher night, more challenging shots, more power plays. Uh, but Zach just shut the door, and I think they didn't have a lot of confidence against him.